people are saying it as if grace is a license to do what you want to do or a license to be weak. And I wrote this song because I wanted people to know that grace is not to help you stay in a weakened state. It's to help empower you, to make you strong. And grace literally enables you to do anything that God has already put inside of you. My name is Mary Murphy. I travel around the nation singing because that's what God called me to do. It's my purpose. I go on tour for myself and I sing everywhere. I've been singing since I was a little girl. My mom used to write songs and we would all sing and perform those songs and we acted out plays and did drama skits. I didn't realize when I was younger that I would always choose to be the lead singer and my sisters would choose to be the background singers. And so when I became an adult and I realized that that was a, what I was called to do, then all those memories started flooding back. But I've been singing since as long as I can remember. Well, I got born again when I met my husband in 1995. My husband is what the Bible calls an apostle. So he plants churches, he starts churches. And we've planted over 20 of them over the past 28 years. When I met him, I knew about religion. I knew about going to church, but I didn't know about having a relationship with Jesus. My husband actually introduced me to Jesus and I always say, my, I call him the man. I say, the man introduced me to the man, which is Jesus. And so the very first song I wrote, I didn't even realize I was a songwriter. My husband said, you will write songs. I said, really? He said, so go in there and write a song. I said, oh. <laughs> So I went in my room and I started pinning this song and it was just titled, Thank You Lord. It's very short and very simple, but that's the first song that I ever wrote. I was just really grateful at that time. That was a new time for me. I was just learning about Jesus in a relationship sense. And so I was just really grateful because my life could have taken such a totally different path. And when I found him, it just changed everything. And so I was just really grateful. That's why that song is titled, Thank You, Lord. 28 years ago, my husband said he saw a vision. He said, I see you. And I can even see the store that we were standing at. We were in the parking lot. And he said, I see you traveling the country and touring and singing. He said, and I'll still be planting churches, but you'll be off singing. And we will both be so busy doing our purpose that we'll just have to meet up somewhere. And that was 28 years ago, and now it's happening. The vision is happening. My main focus for writing all of my songs is like, if it weren't for grace, is to empower people. I want people, when their takeaway, when they hear my songs, to be uplifted, to know that they are overcomers, that they have the victory in Jesus. We are not defeated Christians. And I want people to know who they are in Christ, where they are in heavenly places and whom they belong to, which is Jesus. And so, and I want people to have that takeaway when they listen to every one of my songs. And my husband teaches, he says, we're not booked, we're sent ones. So when people ask me to come sing, I just go. And so when Jesus told us to go, he didn't tell us to wait for support. No, he said, go and he'll supply all of our needs. According to his riches and glory, we get partners or, or whatever, but even if we don't get anybody, we just pay for it. You set your own stage and you do what God told you to do. That's his motto. He says, we, he wrote a book called Go Ready Set, which means you go, you get ready on the way, and once you get there, everything will be set. But you don't wait till all the ducks are in a row because they'll never get in a row. <laughs> you have to just go. Instead of ready, set, go, go, get ready on the way. Once you get there, everything will be set.